Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And in this video, I'll show you how you can install Wine Master and Wine Clients on a single PC. In my previous video, I had shown you Wine Master installed in a separate computer and the Wine Clients are installed in Astro Workplaces. Now, in this video, I'll show you all of the installation on Astro Workplaces. In this system, I have six workplaces set up and currently the workplaces have not been started. Before I start the workplace, I'm going to install Pine. So let's get started. I've already downloaded the latest version of Pine here. Run the installer and make sure that you are running as administrator. Otherwise, you will not be able to install it. Now click on next, agree, again next. Now in our previous video, when installing Vine for the Astro Workplaces PC, we uncheck the Vine master, but we have to check it so that we can Use the Vine Master in the Astro Workplaces as well. So click on Install and let it finish. And let's not run the Vine Configurator yet. Click on Finish. Let's start the workplaces first for the next step that we are going to do. Start workplaces. Now let's wait for the workplaces to be started. It's going to take a few seconds. And you may have noticed that the displays are not showing here, but it's actually starting. We have to so it displays without monitor in order for them to display. Let me close and open Astro again. So as you can see, one, two, three, four workplaces have started. Now the remaining two are starting. For each of the workplaces, I have logged in a user account. So one here, zero two here, and so on. Now, and we are going to use small tool that we have created using Python script. It will help us to set the shortcut for each of the user account for Vine server.exe that I showed you in my previous video, as well as set the session IDs for each of the user account. Now, since all of the workplaces have started, including the main one, let me run the tool. This is Vine Astro Vine Configurator, run it as administrator. And we have here three options. First is setting the firewall profile for port 11,100 up to 11,199 and this is needed if you want to be able to access the Vine users from over the internet. So let me set the firewall profile first. Now next we will be setting the session ID for each of the user accounts. Press 2 and one by one you will have to set the session ID for each of the user account. Now here the user name is listed. I am going to give it session id of one now session id has been set now for user 01 account i'm going to set it as two three four five six you can see here vine session id updated for all user and session id will be set one two three four five six and so on and you can set custom session id but it's best if you set it in sequence so that it's easier to add it in the Vine configurator later on Session ID have been set. Now we have to create shortcut for all of the user accounts. So I'm going to choose three, press enter. As you can see, it has created shortcut for each of the user accounts. Uh, shortcut for my main user account. If I go to zero one user account, and it has created the shortcut for it also. All of the user accounts, zero one, zero two, zero three, zero five, and the main user account, the shortcut has been created. Now press four to close the rule. The session ID has been created and the shortcut has been created. Now all we have to do is add it in the configurator. So let me open my configurator. And like in the previous video, services set it to multi-session and built-in VNC or ultra VNC. Then head over to locations. Since I did this before, so there are some listed here from before. Let me remove the ones that are not available right now. So from one up to six. I'll be using so apply yes in my previous video I'm using the host name instead of IP address as IP address can change but the host name or the device name will remain same after doing this let me open Astro control once since we did all of the changes while the user accounts were already logged in we have to force re log in them so the session ID for Vian as well as the shortcut for Vine server will run. Let me do for the second one. And these are re-logging. Let me close Astro and open Vine Master. Login. Now 
one by one, you will see the workplaces are appearing here. And if you check all of them, you will see the main workplace as well, which is using the Vine Master. Since we don't want to straight here, let me uncheck it. Now, as you see, one, two, three, these three have started. Four, fourth one has also started. Now, workplace four has not started. Let me open Astra and force you log in it once. It has started. Now, we have five workplaces and the main workplace, which is running the Vine Master here. Let me remove control into it and run some program. Let me run Google Chrome here. YouTube. Let me close this one. I can run another application. Remote control. Uh, so I'm remote controlling each of the workplace without any additional tool, and everything is being done through Vine. So it makes it quite easy to remote into the workplaces without having to make additional setups. So let me run those here. So as you can see, each of the workplaces have different application and tools running in the background. From Vine Master, you can show your screen to all of the workplaces like this. It takes a few seconds to show up in the workplaces. Although we are able to see the workplaces here, the view itself does not refresh in real time some delay to refresh the screens let me cancel the demo that's about it for this video if you have any question or suggestion don't forget to put it in the comment below i'll post the link for this tool in the description of this video and if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel